It's my OOTD, this like t-shirt that I've been wearing so much ever since I got it from Dynamite and these pants that I don't remember where I got them from, but yeah, bunny slippers, gonna wear those out and my mess on my bed behind me and my robe on the floor and a heating pad cause life. Going to buy some stuff because I am going to Veld, which is a three-day or two-day music festival here in Toronto, Canada, and I need to buy a fanny pack because you're not really allowed backpacks there, and maybe a few accessories to go with my outfits because I'm going for two days. It's gonna be it's gonna be lit, but yeah, gotta go out get some stuff. You guys, I'm dead. I'm in Dollarama, and I just found this. <laughs> This like a full upper body mosquito net thing like literally a full upper body mosquito net thing I need this like not even lying. That's how bad the mosquitoes are here in Canada Also, I'm gonna get this water bottle thing for Veld music festival because hydration is important And I don't want to pay more than a dollar 25 for water and I got some stuff from Ardeen but that's not what I came to Dollarama for. I'm looking for like those like ponchos that keep you dry, like rain ponchos, but a clear one. I'm hoping they have them here. I found it and it's only $1.25. They have other options that are more heavy duty, but nope. Good morning, everyone. I have a Skin Me So clay mask on my forehead because I had some clogged pores there that I extracted, so I got a detox my forehead so please don't mind that but today I'm gonna work on creating a kind of belt thing for belt that's gonna have like dangly threads hanging off of it I don't know if I'll end up wearing it but I'm gonna make it today just with some glue and um like fabric I don't know but I'm gonna get started on it now so basically this is gonna be my belt. I got it from the dollar store. It's really crappy, but like I don't want to spend a ton of money on something I'll probably never wear again. And then I got these little lace things that I can glue to the back side of it and hang down, plus the excess threads from this. So if anyone remembers from like last month's vlog, I think it was, and this went all the way down and was touching my bed. So I have about a meter's length or just under a meter's length eh, about like half a meter's length I think I have no idea what I'm talking about in this type of thread so I'll do like one thread this and rotate between this lace that I bought and that will be the dangly kind of like train skirt attachment belt attachment to my outfit so I'm gonna just use super glue for it because I really couldn't care less but I kind of find it funny because I was looking at hashtags from previous years of Veld at like what kind of fashion people do. And I'm going to be honest, it looks pretty like trashy and cheap in my opinion. <laughs> so I don't want to be like that. I don't want to look slutty, trashy, or cheap. So <laughs> if you guys know me, that's definitely not my fashion style at all for that. So I kind of want to bring a different look to Veld Music Festival and I've never been this is going to be my first ever music festival and I remember a few years ago I was really jealous of people that got to go to it and I didn't get to go because I was really poor back then and jobless it was like a million years ago like right out of high school college student no job no money couldn't do anything so um <laughs> at 26 I'm finally going to my first music festival so I'm really really excited for that I think it's gonna be amazing so I'm gonna get DIYing. So I just measured out 84 centimeters each with little marks per centimeter because I have a total of 84 strings not including the lace so I'll glue a string per each centimeter and then maybe in between I'll do a lace string for the entire belt up to 84. And then I left blank where I can tie it into like a bow around my waist. My sister and I came to McDonald's and I'm Thank getting the... Thank you. to pull around front or just wait for the Aussie yeah. burger. Thank you. Of course we are. I got the limited edition Aussie burger which is like an egg on 
a burger with beet chips and lettuce and stuff like that. And uh, stuff I figured, like that. figured I'd get it because it's an Aussie burger. And a poutine because I'm obsessed with poutine since I came back. Can't stop, won't stop. McDonald's. Beet chips. Poutine. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Today is the day before I go to Veld Music Festival and I just had this urge to get a uh, henna tattoo on my hands for the festival because I've seen a lot of people do that before in the past for festivals and I've always wanted to try it and not just for festivals but like I've known about henna tattooing it's temporary like semi-permanent tattooing like a stain like it's like self-tan but a little bit longer lasting and it's uh just henna like this very natural uh, plant extract I feel like it is so I've always wanted to try it it's a popular Indian culture especially for traditional weddings and I'm in Brampton today to try it out I found this girl in the Facebook marketplace and she's only charging like 35 15 per hand and wrist and arm so that's what I'm doing today super like last minute uh, impulsive thing but it'll be fun so let's go It's done! Doesn't that look so awesome? Oh, it's hard to tell because my arm's all twisted like sideways, so... It's straight. It's just when I move my arm sideways, my skin moves. But it's so pretty! This hand isn't dry yet. The other hand I showed you is dry. I'm so glad I did this and she only charged 30 for me. I actually had the hardest time getting in my car and putting my seatbelt on without smudging it. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna head home now and try not to smudge this and just get ready for tomorrow's festival. So I'll probably tune back in then. and we were supposed to go to day two of Veld but me and my friend are just like clearly a mess and really hungover even though we did not intend to be hungover at all so we're just calling it quits because the only DJs we want to see don't perform till like late at night and it's supposed to be like feel like 40 degrees outside today and that plus hungover is not going to be good so going home you guys so I'm at home all day just recovering from my big night at Veld and after posting almost all my outfit spam and photo spam while well, it's still relevant because Veld's only like a two-day event so I don't want to post things when the, once the event is over because it will be completely irrelevant so I'm spamming all my photos to Instagram and my outfit got chosen as one of the best dressed at Veld 2018 on Narcity Canada the website like Narcity Canada so that's a pretty big deal for me I'm pretty excited about that because like my outfit was such like a last minute thing and I actually forgot to wear one of the main features to the outfit like I had a, a blue suspender like half like crop suspender style outfit like attachment that was like faux leather and it would have been really really cool with the outfit and I completely forgot to wear it yeah that's actually like a really big deal and exciting thing for me because I feel like I post things a lot like taking locations or companies and they never reshare my stuff for like years so I'm really excited that like someone recognized me noticed me senpai that's how I felt so I'm really 
really happy and excited about that like made it literally like made my day and then I got a message from one of you guys on my Instagram too this morning uh saying you saw me at Veld but you uh were too shy to come say hi but like you should have it would have made my night like it would have been like another cherry on top of the night to be able to meet one of you guys there because uh, I definitely have a small Canadian audience right now but it's growing but uh it's awesome to know like to see people around the area so yeah and when I was shopping for my outfit a while ago actually another viewer uh, said hi to me so yeah I just want to say thank you to you for saying hi to me when I was out shopping even though I wasn't feeling good that day so I'm sorry if I seemed a little offbeat or caught off guard I definitely was caught off guard but thank you um even though you uh, messaged me on Instagram thank you again on like officially in a vlog for saying hi like it always makes my day when I meet one of you guys in, in person so yeah Anyway, I figured I'd share that, and sorry, I didn't get too much footage from Veld because I was honestly just having a really good time and completely forgot, so I ended up just getting, like, Instagram stories, but, um, I inserted them in this monthly vlog, the August monthly vlog, so you guys can kind of get a taste of what Veld was like, because it was absolutely amazing, like, if I didn't, if I wasn't so careless last night and drank too much, I would have been able to do, like, the second day. But I literally, like, got home and passed out for, like, six hours. And I'm still so exhausted. So I'm probably going to go to sleep at, like, nine. First time in a lake. You can't go too deep. So time to splash, okay. So I am officially going to the secret white party. That's like a global thing. So or not party but dinner. Basically it's a global thing and it's like everyone dresses in white and brings white everything and you dine in like a mysterious location. Like you don't find out till the till like the day of when you're on your way there and uh have wine and stuff all dressed in white. I don't know, it's a thing around the world. So me and my friend signed up to go for it and um i'm really excited i don't know why i'm having such an awkward time talking today because i guess i haven't <laughs> spoken at all yet today but i had to order a dress for it because i found out i don't order any white dresses at all and i was going to order one from australia but they were sold out in my size by the time i could get it so i ordered from a uk website called old poly and it just came in and this dress is literally like completely out of my comfort zone like i've never owned anything like it before <laughs> so here's hoping so I got it from Opali, which is, like I said, UK website. Oh, wow, okay. This is not sponsored. I paid full price for this and customs. Uh, it's all satin bra style top. So I guess let's try it on and hope it looks decent. I'm constantly bloated, so I'm a bit concerned because it's a fitted dress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And here it is. So I didn't realize how curvy I am. Apparently I'm really curvy. I'm gonna have to tape it to my chest because it's borderline gonna, like, I'm gonna pop out. But it fits perfectly, but is really tight around the legs. Like, I can hardly walk. So I did the measurements and everything, and it does fit, but it's like it just fits type thing. So I'm a size 6, I think I got it in. And it's like this padding area is way too small for my chest apparently which is surprising because the measurements said it would fit but I mean I guess it makes sense but yeah I'm gonna look up and see if there's a way like soaking it in cold conditioner water to make it a little bit looser just because like right now it's like so tight I can't walk but it definitely like fits perfectly but I would like it a little more like comfortable you know like comfortably fitted but it's supposed to be like a super tight dress, so we'll see. I'll try to make it work, but it definitely like accentuates my constant bloat. <laughs> it looks good, but like, yeah. Oh well, I gotta wear it, so, yeah. Oh, it's a day after I went out uh, to a 
bar, like an older people bar in Oakville called Dirty Martinis. I may have added the Insta story footage into this vlog. I may have not, but yeah, that happened. So it's the morning after and I am looking for stuff for a all white picnic dinner party that I'm going to. My friend and I signed up for it and it's actually proving to be way more irritating than we anticipated. Uh, Apparently in previous years you didn't have to bring a table, chairs, and all that stuff. They provided it, but this year they're not doing it. So now I'm out hunting for a table and they have really strict restrictions on the size of table you can get. And of course they have to be all white and it's actually impossible and it's proving to be way more expensive than I wanted to. So I'm actually kind of like ticked off. And right now I can say I would not recommend this event. We'll see how it goes, but like, like hunting for this stuff is making it not worth it type situation so fortunately I think we're able to rent the chairs from a party supply company for cheap the table unfortunately no no party supply place in like my general like cities like the cities near me have any table that fits the size so I'm desperately hunting for all this stuff and then I just found out they are like they don't allow you to bring plastic tableware so you're not allowed to bring like plastic wine glasses or cutlery or anything it has to be real which is stupid I don't know a lot like you should be allowed to bring like plastic wedding wear that you can get from the dollar store like it doesn't look that cheap at all and it's it's a lot safer less likely to break things I bought that trolley so I got a footage I had to buy that trolley so I can carry things because how am I gonna carry a table two chairs all my dinner wear <laughs> like it's becoming really ridiculous so that's what I'm doing today and I'm really over it right now and I figured I'd share because I don't want to do like all of a sudden I'm at this white party you think because that's literally what would have happened because it's on Thursday and it is Sunday right now I think so yeah I don't, I don't mean to like bitch to you guys but like I just kind of want to share the reality behind this big luxurious event that I'm going to be going to and it's definitely not all that glitz and glam it's becoming a real pain in my butt man so I, like I just got home after my hustle like all day and I, <laughs> I come inside my house and start like unpacking everything that I got and freaking giant spider falls out of my hair <laughs> Why do I have, I have like the worst spider like trauma and experience. So I just spent like 10 minutes trying to kill it with a fly swatter. If anyone's been a long time viewer of mine, you'll remember in Japan, I had a horrible time with spiders in my apartment and I'm like petrified of spiders. They're like my biggest fear is spiders and they just for some reason it's like I have a spidey sense or something like I should be spider-man because like I can always spot spiders and they're always around me like no no one else just like me so yeah <laughs> spider big spider like this big fell out of my hair so I guess when I was coming in the front door it was hanging or something also I think it was yesterday or two no it was like two or three days ago I bought this big aloe plant from the grocery store for five dollars and planted it in this little planter beside our old aloe because my dad had aloe for like 20 years but it was a different type like a vine type so it doesn't produce much flesh inside of it like the stuff that helps like your skin and for ingesting to help anti-inflammatory so it was like pointless almost having all this aloe so I got a big proper one that actually gets really thick chunky leaves so you can actually benefit from it so i'm excited to eat it and help my stomach be calm here's an example of the old aloe like it's very vine like and doesn't like this is as fat as it gets which is like barely any plant so i replanted these quite a few months ago and they started growing new shoots i guess that's what's been up so I posted a tweet earlier today kind of saying I'm excited because I'm going to be having the house to myself for the next couple weeks more or less so I'm really looking forward to that because it means um, I'll be able to film and talk to the camera more because I'll have like more quiet and not as many people walking around because if you guys remember from like two months ago in my monthly vlog I was saying like how I have a very very small house and everyone works from home so there's no personal time really and there's no quiet time either so it's hard for me to talk directly to the camera which is why I do voiceovers a lot now for my beauty channel and my vlogs are very like I guess impersonal 
that's the reason why. Uh, so I'm going to try to film more beauty videos without voiceovers during this week and kind of get caught up on that. And then also sit down and chat with you guys a little bit more this month because during July that didn't really happen that much and I think we're going to try a little bit better for August. So yeah, that's what's up and that's what's been happening today. Just me shopping around for the white dinner on Blanc thing and I sent my dress in for hemming. I didn't show it but that's what happened because I wanted to get the chest fixed like kind of expanded for a little more space but they said it's impossible I just think they don't want to do it to be honest so I'll do it myself when I get it back and I wanted to get a slit in it if it was possible or just take off the length so I can actually walk in the dress and they said it, the slit they can do it but they don't recommend it because the type of fabric it is and with how tight it is a slit will just increase the chances of it consistently ripping up words even when they do sew it so I was like mm, I wouldn't want to take that chance so we're just taking off length so that my legs can move a little bit more freely and I can actually walk and not be like a stick so yeah that's what's up I'm just gonna chill for the rest of today I put this sweater on Minnie because she freaks out during thunderstorms and apparently if you put like something tight on them it helps I think it helped. She's not digging up my makeup or my mirror in the corners of my room. <laughs> yeah, so cute. Sorry, my room's a mess in the background. And I'm watching my friend Toph live stream. I watch him every day. Good morning, everyone. I woke up at like 6 a.m. today because I had to get a CT scan of my bad for some reasons. Um, if you guys remember from my Japan vlogs, Jesus Christ, from my Japan vlogs, I had that like swelling in my glands um, and that hasn't gone away for like over a year. So I got a CT scan for it because they did like ultrasounds and it showed like some cysts, I guess, or swollen lymph nodes or whatever. I can't remember it was like months ago and then this time they sent me for a CT scan to get a closer look to see what's going on so that's what's up with my health so now that I'm back in Canada it's like time to get checked up on my health and all that stuff so I have all these wristbands on that I can't get off because I don't have scissors so it's like embarrassing so I have to run errands too and I was like trying to bite them off but they just won't come off so anyway I am picking up my white dress now for the white party that's this upcoming Thursday. Today's Monday, so that's just in a couple days or a few days. So I'm picking up my dress, and they, if you remember, I got it hemmed, like a good chunk of the length taken off so I can walk. And yeah, that's what's up for today. I also spent all yesterday, well not all yesterday, but like a solid five hours of Sunday uh, looking for roommates in Toronto and rooms to rent. I want to look for the like Don Valley area or like York area because in downtown is so expensive and like not cute at all so that's what's up but I didn't really have much luck because it's like almost September so all the students are like taking over everything that's available so it's not really a good time to be looking realistically right before September starts so I don't know but yeah I kind of made that decision that I need to get out <laughs> Hello everyone, today is a special day. Today I am attending dinner on Blanc in Toronto with my friend. But yeah, and basically you all meet somewhere and you don't know where you're going. You have your table, you have your chairs, everything is white, everything has to be white. Accessories, tables, chairs, uh, flower arrangements, you get a bottle of wine, you bring food or you order food, and then it you all go to this location that's like a giant party, dinner party that you don't know where it is. So that's what's going on today. I hope it will not be absolutely insane. So yeah, let's go. So my friend and I came to dinner in Blanc and basically I'd say we spent like what, three hours in line? Three hours in line to get to the venue, but we finally are sitting down. We have like the shakes, we have like wine, and we're ready to go. <laughs> Look at how cute this cupcake is. I mean, it's half melted off, but <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> My cupcake just dropped all over, upside down. This is yours melted too? 
cute. <laughs> Everyone's cupcakes are melted. No. She just dumped her cupcake. Look at her My cupcake got destroyed. It's like 1 a.m. Uh, we got back a lot later than we wanted to because our Uber driver that we got like wasn't listening to our directions and his GPS wasn't like saying the roads were closed in Toronto and they were and we were telling him these roads are closed and you can't get through and he was like no and then he drove through and the police had to stop him and he refused to like turn around I don't know it was the worst Uber experience I've ever had which I guess isn't that bad but he was like getting mad at us for no good reason and we're like you can't go this way and then like he wanted us to like navigate him where to go even even though we both had gps's on i don't it was insane so we missed our train and had to wait like 40 minutes for the next train out of toronto it was insane so anyway dinner on blanc uh, the union station group we signed up for was the biggest of all the groups so we like literally waited I would say two hours to get to the location when we are supposed to all be leaving at six o'clock we didn't leave till like seven and I got there at five like they wanted us there at like five fifteen, so we would leave on time we didn't leave on time because our group leader wanted us to wait literally for one person and like strictly on like all the notices before in the emails it was like if you're not there on time we leave without you so we waited over an hour for one person to arrive which was the dumbest thing like I was like no no that's not fair to all the people who arrived early and on time and punctual like we should like it was it was dumb so a lot of people like the whole entire group that was waiting on that one person of like i'd say 50 people was pissed off like i was really pissed off and like fair enough like we didn't pay a ton of money like 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 i i say i invested 70 or more dollars into this event like I didn't drop this much money to wait for one person who's going to be like an hour late to the thing like no that's not fair so that was like where it got really frustrating and then after that like the TTC they wanted us all to fit onto a streetcar so 50 people all with their own personal table and two chairs and baskets filled with food and utensils and stuff like that and centerpieces to all fit onto like streetcars or like you know um the tram and I was like this is not gonna work so that was a nightmare in itself and it was crowded so as you could see we all took up like the entire subway station underground it was piping hot humid as hell we were all like waiting in line at the streetcar underground in like 90 100 percent humidity like 32 degree weather like it was hot like summer hot in Japan like you wanna like you suffocate like you'll have a heart attack down there like I was soaking wet and sweat which is like gross with other people like pressed up against each other lugging this like a hundred pound like trolley of stuff oh my god so my friend and I literally were like like at that point before we got to the thing with all that waiting for one person then trying to get like to the location we were like this is not worth it this is not worth it at all like never coming back again and then when we actually got to the location we had to all line up again and get in order of our table number so like we had to line up you know like grade school like wise by your number and of course like we had we had to wait again because people like were late because not everyone could fit on one streetcar by the time we actually got in to the venue and set up we were already I would say th two and a half to three hours after the event started so that was like a huge chunk out of like the time we could have been enjoying the event that we paid for um, but once we got sat down got our bottle of wine and got eating our dinner like it ended up being a really fun time like it made it worth it but my friend and I were saying like we definitely want to do it again because it was so much fun once you're actually there and like everything's like done like all that nonsense is over with it was actually so much fun like the news station was there and like it was just such a pleasant time like the people beside us at our tables like the our neighbors were so cute and so much fun and everyone was having a great time once they all like got their stuff 
but there's definitely a way better way to go about doing dinner on blanc but my advice honestly for dinner on blanc or anyone who's going to be going for their first time here are my tips i recommend having one person go to meet your group like send one person the person who signed up for the event whose name is registered send them to meet up with the group and find out where the location is get the table number and all that and to send them without carrying anything because that's like what kills it that's what ruins it and the amount of people like if you're going with more than one person you don't need to bring the other person with you because it just adds more people to the group and makes it harder for everyone to get there so for me i recommend sending one person to meet the group get the table number and figure out where the location is once that person gets to the location call up your friends and get them to meet you there at the location like once you arrive and those people that you're calling to meet you should be the people carrying the table the chairs the food everything that you need um, for your setup and come in an uber come in your own car or come via public transit separately because like going like bringing all that stuff plus everyone you're going with and taking the public transit like in that mass group of 50 plus people is stupid like it honestly was so dumb like every literally everyone was pissed off and i was so glad like it was just me and my one girlfriend going because we were like if we brought anyone else with us like everyone would have been so angry by now and frustrated so yeah if it's your first time there's definitely like the cost is higher because you have to buy all those things or rent all those things and you need to buy like white accessories and a dress and an outfit if you don't already own them and unfortunately for me like I didn't already own a white dress I didn't already own a table I didn't have white a trolley I didn't have so there was a lot of things that my friend and I had to buy in preparation so what should have been I would say a 40 to 70 dollar event and that's it turned into like a hundred dollar plus event and with like all the waiting stuff that we had to do it's not worth it now on that note they do have an option where you can pay more to take a bus with your group to get to the event which i would say is worth it but like i think my way of doing it would be a lot better to be honest um yeah but yeah, it was a really fun time aside from all of that. And we are so fortunate that it didn't rain at all, even though like literally like when I was on the way to the event, it was thunderstorming and I was driving in my car to go to the uh, the train station. And I was like, if I have to lug this table, chairs, trolley, bag full of food, myself all dressed in white and carry an umbrella on top of it, like there's no way there's no way so I was panicking but fortunately enough it didn't rain in the actual city it only rained on like the outskirts of the city so we got really really lucky and the venue was at Fort York I think it's called Fort York which was like really good like it was awesome I had a fun time I don't know how else to explain it like I think my insta stories explained enough how much of a good time I had at the event once I was there but the whole beforehand process was a nightmare and then like the after the leaving thing my friend and I left early because we knew like with how crazy it was to get there with everyone going at the same time leaving would be the same chaotic mess and we just didn't want to do that so we left right at like after they did the sparkler thing like I guess an hour before the event actually ended uh, so we did the whole sparkler thing and then after that it's like the kind of fade out for the event so we left like I'd say at the perfect time because there was only a few other groups of people that had the same idea as us to leave early um, so we were able to like get the train out without like cramming into a bunch of people and we're able to get that uber uber ride which was stupid because we missed our train that we should have like it was literally a two minute uber drive you guys to the station from where we were located and it took over 10 minutes because of how bad our uber driver was like i've never given an uber driver a one star until now and i, f I felt kind of bad but at the same time i was like what do you what do you not get like you shouldn't be an uber driver if you can't like if you can't problem solve when the gps is like not giving you the correct information then you shouldn't be an uber driver like if your your customers have to figure it out for you and we also are not like familiar too familiar with the location then there's a problem i know <laughs> i feel like most of this thing is like me kind of complaining to you guys but it's not but i feel like it's more like 
me sharing my experience, tips, and advice, and kind of sharing the pros and cons of this event because it definitely has a lot of cons if you've if it's your first time and I feel like the people who've done it before like are no and I've heard I heard a lot of people there saying like oh it's your first time Mm, you know like kind of making fun of all the newcomers but yeah it was it was definitely worth it but uh do your research first do a lot of research or check out my tips like because they'll definitely help you out so yeah anyway My friend and I will probably go next year and we'll bring more people and do it the way that we think is a good way to do it. So yeah. Anyway, that's kind of the biggest thing that's happened in August. I feel like like the biggest event aside from Veld. Oh my God, August is becoming crazy. You guys, I just woke up and I'm so excited because we finally have eggs in my house after like a week. And if you remember from like my past two monthly vlogs, every single morning I've been eating like tamagoyaki for breakfast and it's like become my routine and if I don't have it like I just don't know what to eat for breakfast so I'm gonna go downstairs and make some tamagoyaki why are my eyes swollen this morning I never wake up with swollen eyes like my lips and my nose and my cheeks are always swollen when I wake up never my eyes this is like a new thing oh Minnie just woke up too hello hello sweet oh wow wow mini beautiful mini sleeps in my bed when my dad's away on work she sleeps with me oh ow my skin thank you very sweet very very sweet very sweet good morning good morning beautiful oh Good morning everyone. So recently I decided I need to move out of my dad's house and I've been looking for apartments in Toronto like downtown so that's what I am doing here today. So I checked out a place yesterday that was like outskirts inner city um, in the Etobicoke area and it was okay but I have one more place to check out today that's actually like right in the core of downtown. A little out of my budget to be honest but I kind of had this feeling like the universe was telling me I have to see this place Uh, the downside I heard is that it would be for like maybe a year max because the building is supposed to be torn down so we'll see so I just finished filming this makeup look using only my old makeup from when I first started YouTube like seven years ago or eight years ago now eight years ago and it's it's ratchet. I never use the term ratchet, but I'm using the term now. I look gangaro like makeup, like it's too white around around my eyes. I'm wearing like dark eyeliner. The lipstick's too light for my skin tone, and then I'm all bronzed up. Like that's how I feel anyway. And if you don't know what gangaro is, it's the uh, it's like a gyaru fashion trend from like the early '90s. That's like intense I'll try to insert a pic like here somewhere so you guys can see but that I feel like the toned down version of that and I'm not okay with it and I'm dying inside but it was pretty funny using only old makeup I haven't touched in like almost a decade and some stuff I haven't used since I was like my first year in Korea so that was pretty funny and while I was doing my makeup Minnie had a wonderful nap I have this is her bed like her bed blanket I put on my bed when she sleeps with me so she doesn't get dog hair everywhere And she was having a nap and her tail was wagging so much while she was asleep. It was so cute. She was having a good dream. Yeah. Good morning, everyone, or good evening. Today, I'm heading into Toronto to go to the first ever store launching of VDL uh, Cosmetics in Toronto and VDL, the Korean makeup company. Like, I'm so excited. some clothes fall fashion here we come except I'm poor
Oh, so fast. Thank you. Okay, so I actually filmed the intro to today's little clip right now. I got caught in the rain on the way back from being in Toronto. I was in the city for about three hours and I thought I would beat the rain because um, the weather changed from thunderstorms all day to no thunderstorms until like the evening. But alas, it fooled me and I opted not to bring my umbrella. But then all of a sudden the shower started at like 2 p.m. and I got caught in the rain in a white shirt. Yay. But uh, I left my umbrella in the car, so that's my bad. I thought I could get away with it, but I didn't. But either way, that VDL store was so much fun. Like, it just reminded me so much of, like, living in Korea and when I visited Korea when I was living in Japan and stuff like that. It was just all good vibes. And I got some stuff, so I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. Uh, I'm really excited to start using it for my beauty channel. So, yeah. Um, I also went to the ice cream place next door and I went to M Boutique as well to check out stuff. I didn't buy anything from M Boutique because I'm not ready for fall fashion. Like, mentally, I'm not ready for fall. And the ice cream is really, really good, except it stained my, um, my mouth black because it was uh, charcoal ice cream. It was really good. Anyway, I'm going to stop in at a Sally's Beauty, I think, and get some hair dye because the brown has completely washed out of my hair and this lighting isn't showing it but like in my instagram story and a lot of my photos lately the brown literally is just orange it completely washed out it, i'm like not happy or impressed so i need to pick another brown for my gradation like it's this lighting doesn't really show it but it's it's orange like when the light hits it it's embarrassing so yeah i'm gonna do that and i'm actually really really tired i had a lot of fun today exploring Toronto I walked around a bit on Queen Street like I need to move there it's so like why am I 26 and living outside of the city center like it just doesn't make sense like there's so much to do like Decem the Ordinary was there and I wanted to go in but I didn't have time and then oh I was just like why am I not living here honestly no hate or anything but Toronto has a way better vibe to it than Melbourne City did like something like I felt safe, I felt comfortable. There was so much there was it was so lively and I don't know. I just liked it a lot better. Well, Queen Street West where I was. I really liked it compared to Melbourne. Uh yeah, so I don't know, that's just my personal opinion. Every time I've gone into the city this year since I've been back, it's been a really good time. Like I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's been a really good time comparatively to like Melbourne. I mean, no hate. <laughs> I just think like preference wise like even today like I went alone but the reason why I didn't spend too much time on Queen Street Rest West is because I actually was viewing a room in an apartment for rent and it was $750 a month which is pretty expensive just for like a bedroom and then shared common areas and it was on Ossington Avenue and oh my god it was depressing it was a dump it didn't feel warm inside like like, even my apartment in Japan was better than this. And you, if you, any of you guys are viewers from when I lived in Japan, like, you know that apartment wasn't, like, the most new or like, it was a really old building. But even that was better than, like, this. And I thought, like, when I moved to Japan and walked into that apartment for the first time, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be living here for a year. Cringe. But then when I walked into this place, I was like, I'm literally going to die if I have to live in this, like this shoe box. I am back from Toronto and I ate some lunch or like early dinner because it's like five o'clock now. And I'm going to show you guys what I got. First thing I grabbed is the VDL Exact Mattifying Fix Mist because I don't have a mattifying spray and I've been using the same like BYS one ever <laughs> since I like moved to Australia. So I'm really excited to use this. Then I also picked up the VDL Locking Mineral Powder because, once again, I've been using, like, the same setting powders for over a year now. Uh, it's between BYS, Majolka Majorca, and the Chicot powder Powderless um, Setting Powder or something from Japan, which is really, really good, but I just need to, like, you know, change it up. So I got this. Then I got their newest launch 
uh, the VDL Beauty Metal Cushion Foundation in long wear. And as you guys know, like Korean cosmetic foundation colors are really, really light and the color selection is pretty poor. So I had to go with the darkest shade that still is a little bit too light for me. It's V207. Um, it's the closest I could get to my summer tan skin, but I'd say it's about one to two shades too light. So I figured I'd pick it up anyway because it's basically fall here in Canada now. Once September hits, it starts getting chilly. So I'm not going to be seeing the sun for the next six months from there or seven months. So And then I got the Expert Lip Club Velvet Intense in the shade 05 or 502 Rose Wood, which is a beautiful kind of mauve shade. And it's just a nice moisturizing lip color. And then I also picked up the VDL Expert Brow Pencil in brown gray because once again, I've been using like the same brow products for the past like half a year, which has been like the Maybelline Infallible something, not Infallible, something like that. Yeah. And then the Garbo and Kelly Brow Powder. So I figured I'd get a new pencil to try out. I also grabbed the VDL Cream Creamy Stick Jelly in the shade what is the shade gretel 502 gretel and it's just a beautiful like wine colored uh tint stick that can be used on the cheeks or the lips or the eyes anywhere really nice product and then i also grabbed the expert color eyebrow or ibook mono in the shade cosmic and it's seriously like this stunning multi-dimensional shimmer the camera's not really picking it up that well but I just fell in love with it. It's just so beautiful and like a thorough looking. And then I picked up another eyeshadow in the shade Cancun and it's just like a really pretty teal blue with a lot of like glitters in it. Super pretty but once again the camera is not really it up that well. It looks more gray but it's like a nice teal blue with glitter. I always have this problem that like when I come out to buy something like dollar store or wherever I always forget what I came here for like I just can't remember for the life of me what I wanted to get and I'm just like roaming around aimlessly like what am I here for okay I'm back home from the dollar store and I also went to Walmart and Winners if you guys don't know what Winners is it's like the Marshalls of Canada um and that's all I can really relate it to. It's like a, I don't even know, like a, mm, yeah, don't know how to explain it. Feel free to do it in the comment section down below. But anyway, I also toned down my hair and I didn't really update after, but this is what it looks like when it to it's toned down. I used a medium ash brown mix, two brand mix, uh, to get this, I guess, brown gradation effect. Yeah. Anyway, this is what I got when I was out today. So since you guys already know that I really like dollar store shopping, I got most of my stuff there that I've been looking for. So I got this like bicycle mirror that can clasp onto a bar and then you can bend it because I'm going to DIY a little like bendable mirror light that I can like clasp onto a bar. So that's going to be like the base of it. Then I'm going to <laughs> glue on or like... 3m tape on this plated mirror it's kind of like that <laughs> and then i got these really cheap four dollar um under kitchen cabinet lights that you can velcro and 3m tape on so i'm gonna have a three set like one two three and they're pretty bright and they're battery powered but yeah like isn't that really good? Like, it's super good. So I might just do two, might do three, but it's just going to be like that. <laughs> it's going to be like a super bright, like, close-up um, makeup photograph light that I'm going to do. So yeah, that's what it's going to be. Uh, I saw online, like, they're called glamour lights. That's what they mark it as. And they're like $300 for them, which is ridiculous. I would never pay that much. So this whole set plus the, uh, like 3M style adhesive double-sided tape was literally 20 bucks. <laughs> And if any of you guys remember, I consider myself to be the master of DIY. I DIY anything that I think can be DIY'd. Uh, so that's kind of what I got up to today. And then I also picked up these little um, locks because when I go swimming at the local pool, 
there's lockers that you can put your own lock on that don't cost money to use and I've been meaning to pick these up for forever so I grabbed that as well from the dollar store then I went to Walmart and I got this clipboard because I need a clipboard just for like managing paper and stuff and then I also picked up this whiteboard with day sections on it. Like it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so on and so forth. I got this because um, this year I've noticed I've been really bad with my time management and planning out a schedule for myself at home. I never really had a problem with this in the b before from working from home in what I do. But I've noticed in the past year I've had a real struggle with managing my time really well and like planning out tasks and things I want to get done and stuff or just I'm really forgetful as well in this past year like I forget everything so I figured it would be good to have this in my workspace so I can keep track of my stuff and build a schedule and things like that. And I was thinking I'm just getting a regular whiteboard but I've noticed like I probably would never like cleanly section it off well enough so I figured it'd just be really easy for me to get one that's already pre-labeled with the day. And then I got this new cleansing water by the brand Marcel. If you guys don't know Marcel, it's a Canadian uh, skincare brand and makeup brand here in Canada. I don't know if they have it in the US or if you can get it online, but it's really good for people with really sensitive skin and uh, hypoallergenic people and dermatologist tested and stuff. So I got their cleansing water that's for removing makeup and stuff, but is like simple like the formulas only got like six ingredients in it or something so i'm going to try this out and stuff and maybe i'll do a review i also got this uh 100 acetone nail polish remover dip in that you dip your finger in because i really need to remove my uh powder nails because they're half grown out and starting to like bend and stuff and it's really uncomfortable and then I went to Winners and I picked up these tension bands for my working out. I got three in here, so a moderate, medium, and extreme one, and I'll probably use the extreme, not gonna lie. And then lastly, I picked up these makeup brushes from Winners. Cause I can't remember if I said it in a vlog, but I've really been thinking I need to update my makeup brush collection because they're getting really, really old and kind of ratty. So I just got this for now to test out this unknown brand. So might see them in upcoming makeup tutorials and yeah that's everything i got today so that's how it looks with two of the lights attached sorry for my shiny face i've been out like all day should i put a third one on i feel like tough to say but this is what it looks like <laughs> oh god it's mere reception here but yeah like so good right because then you can still see yourself in the middle I don't know to put two or not to put two I say this is way better than spending like three hundred dollars not gonna lie twenty dollars dollar store pretty good I just put the extreme resistant band on and please don't mind my room it's a total shit show but like this is the workout I do to build my butt and like get the hourglass shape so I like post up and I go like that so you can see when I lift it, I squeeze right here. You can see the shape there. And I noticed yesterday when I was working out, I used like a door attachment. I've never used a resistant band before, but instead like a door, one that has tension. But I've noticed this is my weak side and this is my stronger side. And I think it's because the thing I've been using for resistance training before isn't like designed properly. So when you're facing one side, the one side, it has like two leg attachments or arm attachments. And I feel like one of them, it, it um, doesn't slip while you use it, while the one side slips. So when you rotate your leg, one doesn't get as good of a workout as the other. So I got these resistance bands. So that's just a little sneak peek at my like workout routine, I guess. Hi everyone. So it technically is already September right now and I realized I didn't find the time to end my August monthly vlog and I'm really really sorry about that but um, this long weekend in the past few weeks have just been really busy between like me getting ready for uh, starting my school courses and apartment hunting which turned out to be a success but I'll, I'll be I guess preparing for more of that in September but, oh, it got really dark. What's going on? In September, because 
um, I'm gonna move to downtown Toronto in uh, October, like around October 1st. So yeah, that was a success and it was really, really stressing me out because it's so hard to find an apartment. Like the competition is insane and for roommates. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching my monthly vlog and I will see you in uh, September's monthly vlog. Yeah, and um, because I'm gonna be moving in October into the city in my own place with, I'm hopefully gonna find a roommate. I gotta start doing that, so new thing to do in September. But I figured I'll probably try to do weekly vlogs again, or maybe even streaming. We'll see. Like, we'll see how chaotic my schedule is, because I'm also gonna be taking up school courses, working like two jobs and it's gonna be insane so yeah we'll see but i was thinking maybe i'd do something like that again because i don't know i'm just not really comfortable vlogging in my family house and like there's nothing to do here like i literally just stay home every day and work and then <laughs> go to bed more or less it's not fun like there's nothing to my life here which is the number one reason why i'm moving out now finally is because there's nothing no life here so yeah anyway i just kind of wanted to share that quick update and i shared it like we're literally i'm going to bed it's like 11 30 at night and i'm about to roll over and go to bed but i figured i'd share this now because i keep forgetting to film this like update and ending the september or not the september the august vlog so i figured i'd do it now and just like tie things up for the month and say goodbye um, yeah, and by the way, my butternut squash is growing so good. I have like four squashes and my tomatoes didn't really make it, but they are producing really tiny cherry tomatoes, but like the plant is so short and small and cute. So I'll show you guys, insert a clip of that here. If I remember to film one, I'm such like a scatterbrain this month. It's insane. Summer was amazing in Canada. I'm so happy about it, but yeah, here's hoping that... Um, this next year, starting in October, brings better things, so I will see you guys next time, and remember to subscribe and check out my Instagram also and Twitter, because I stay really active there, especially on Instagram. I post stories almost every single day, uh, just updating everyone on my life to, like, stay relevant with you guys and keep in touch, since I don't do so much vlogging anymore, and I've been trying to do more beauty videos as well, because I kind of fell behind on that, because I just got really, really busy, so I'm going to be doing more of that especially in September and we'll trying we'll see yeah anyway I'm sleepy so I'm gonna go to bed and I will check back in in September bye